Good morning, everybody. Kenora, Ontario. We're ready to start another day. I'm about to roll out, so thanks for joining me. If you're new, my name is Josh. You can call me Trucker Josh. You can call me Josh. You can call me whatever you want. I drive a truck across Canada and the United States, based in southern Manitoba. That's just north of North Dakota and Minnesota, about 60 miles north of there. That's where you'll find me, just barely over the line to the north. We spend a lot of time traveling into the U.S. as well. I do international, go back and forth and back and forth. It's a lot of fun. I've been making videos here on YouTube for well, 12, 13 years, so there's a lot to catch up on. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss all my new videos. Go to my channel, go to my playlist so you can catch up with all my old ones. We make a new video pretty much every day. There's over 3,000 of them online now. get my freight on my trailer I can go run right over to the tarp shed get my tarps on here 
and get rolling so I can get to Brainerd as quickly as possible, get unloaded, get my tarps rolled back up, and come back up here and do it all over again tomorrow. Well, we're loaded. I woke up this morning, I said, God, give me the strength to get through this day. I'm sure glad I asked, because this wasn't an easy one. Man. Not the hardest one I've ever done, but, uh, so they had to put some up on the step here, some down here. All kinds of different shapes and sizes. All the corners had to be protected under there. Man, that it wasn't so bad. <laughs> Just a little more difficult than I'm used to. Got to be careful when I say give me strength. Because if he gives me more strength, he's also going to give me tougher tasks to do. <laughs> so many lily pads out on that water over there. Look how green that looks to the right. That's all water. Like lily pads on top of it. That is like a frog heaven over there. on that sign there. Welcome, bienvenue. Huh, that makes sense because Canada's right next door, right? And French is an official language of Canada, though you've probably mostly just heard Canadians speaking in English. English is the most common language, but French is a national language at par with English. Continue on this road for 18 kilometers. So I always find it funny when I'm like along the northern U.S. border, the border with Canada, and everything's in English, right? But you always have the option for another language, and they always give you like the option of Spanish. And it always confused me, I'm like, you do know that like the Mexican border is the other border. This is the border with Canada, English and French. <laughs> Why don't you give French as an option for the French tourists coming down? Not as many people up here speak Spanish, though there are people who do, I get that, but I would understand when I go down to the Mexican border with the US, there it makes sense when they offer Spanish as a second option, you know, on signs or at stores, right? Because you're right next door to Mexico, Spanish. But when you're in like Northern North Dakota or Montana, Washington state, like that, all those, all the border states that border Canada, especially out east, like Vermont, uh, I think that Delaware, do those states border the US with Canada? Well, whatever, you know what I mean, border states of Canada. And you're trying to get service and they offer, would you like it in English or Spanish? Or press one for English, press two for Spanish. What? <laughs>
we just barely made it just barely made it but we are empty like when i say just barely made it like when i got to the gate they were closing it they were closing the gate as i came up to it they looked at my paperwork and they said you know what we'll unload you tonight they recognized my truck oh that's why you're always nice to your shippers and receivers <laughs> So they're closing the gate. Uh, they're here till 2 a.m. yet, so that's just when they, they, they finish receiving trucks at 10. Though I did get here at 22.10, so I did get here 20 minutes before they were supposed to close the gate, but whatever. The, the point is that they were closing the gate as I drove up, and then he opened it, let me through, and closed it behind me again. So I was the last one to get in today. Moral of the story, always treat your shippers and your receivers with respect and make them laugh every now and then, and they'll remember you. I'm sorry for the short footage while I was unloading there yesterday. It was a real rush. I got there with 20 minutes to go till 10 o'clock. That's when they close the gate, usually. But like I was telling you there, uh, they were trying to close the gate early, which is fine, but they did let me in anyway, and they got me unloaded. They're really great people there. So it's the next morning. I know I just repeated that all for you. You probably just heard that in the last clip a couple of seconds ago. For me, it's been quite a while already. It's, it's the next day. I slept here in Bodette, Minnesota. This is the same town where we rented our pontoon a few weeks ago. I'm always going to remember this town for that. And I'm always going to see this town in a positive light now because we had so much fun. Thanks to Bodette. Well, thanks to Escape Rentals in Bodette. Okay, so I'm going to run and get a coffee right away, but... Here's my truck. This place was just packed last night when I got here. Everything's still here. It's good to go. Okay. So we're going to continue on in this vlog up to Kenora again. Uh, just to give it a little bit more length. Otherwise, there's not much to show you. Uh, just with what I did yesterday. So the plan is to go up to Kenora, grab another load. We're going to end the vlog there. And then tomorrow's video will be from Kenora back down to Brainerd. We'll see how that works out. For now, I'm gonna run in here, uh, grab a coffee, do my pre-trip, get it ready to go. I'll hit the road. Here's your sign. You need to go fishing. So we'll be picking it up this afternoon, driving down to Brainerd tonight, and then delivering it first thing tomorrow morning. Continue on this road for eight kilometers. It's a nice little run. In one kilometer, turn left on International Drive and add 72. If you remember last time we crossed here, we crossed at night. And they have this detour here, and I was so confused. So now we're gonna go through the detour during the daylight. <laughs> so hopefully it'll be a little less confusing. I'm gonna follow the sign. There's a sign there on the right that says Canadian border that way. So they make it pretty simple. Because I wasn't expecting it last time, and it was dark. In 200 meters, turn left on International Drive and add 72. Oh, Karen, there's a detour. Guys, 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 he didn't even look. Did he look? No, he didn't even look. He had no idea I was coming. So the reason I cross at Beaudet and not at International Falls when I'm going north most of you know this, but for the new people, there's a toll on the bridge going north into Canada from International Falls, Minnesota into Port Francis, Ontario. Turn right and then turn left into 190 meters. Here in Baudette, Minnesota, into Rainy River, Ontario, there's no toll. That's why we're here. And it's only just a little bit further. So for me, it's worth it. 
a toll man if I don't have to. Of 200 meters, turn left on International Drive and on 72. C-U-R-L-I-N-G 
very popular. Never really got me going on it, but uh, I was more of a hockey guy. Every small town has a curling rink, though. Cops flying through town. You're speeding, sir. You gonna tell him? I'm not. <laughs> and that's it for today's video. We gotta start tomorrow's. The sun's gonna be going down soon. It's already like five o'clock. So there's our next load. We will continue on down the road with this tomorrow. Oh shoot. And I forgot to move that piece of wood. Hopefully that doesn't rip through my tarp. I don't have to adjust that yet. Shoot. A little bit of a simpler load than yesterday's. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.